Welcome back to round one, heat number 10 here at the Corona Open, J-Bay. This heat is led by a headliner named Gabriel Medina, the first Brazilian world champ, created history back in 2014, and it was an incredible year. He's been fighting for his second world title ever since. We'll see how he takes on this matchup against Kyle Ibelli, a man that he met in the King of the Groms contest when they were just little kids. He was able to turn the season around following his world title, really kicked that off at J-Bay, so he knows he has a long year ahead of him. Stu Kennedy's gonna kick this one off. Nice carve to tail release for the Australian to get this one started. Vertically down the line, layback low tail, just to show that he could do anything on demand. Now flowing through a top turn wrap. Great tempo to Stu's attack on this one through the inside. Blows the tail out and explodes with a solid finishing move in front of the bridge. Wow, that's some variety right there. Some pizzazz, some X Factor. And he's going to need it, that's for sure. But uh, look how shallow it is as Stu Kennedy dances over the rocks to get back out. Let's see how he did on this first move again. Well, just a smaller wave there. Um, so just wants to get that ball rolling, you know, identifying that it's slowing down. Beautiful opening maneuver for Stu Kennedy. You can see double, almost triple pumps off the bottom through the lip. This is where he starts to lose the fence, right there. How is that there for control? Gets that slide, yet still keeps that down the line momentum, which is really unique for Stu Kennedy. That's just uh, growing up on a point break and being able to do that. Get that sliding momentum, but then still keeping that momentum down the line, finishing off nicely, blowing the fins out. Stu Kennedy, good way to start. 7.0 for Stu and the lead. As we count the variety of maneuvers here, basically every single strike he gave us something different. Yeah, he did. You know, right there, I love that turn, but then still has that down the line momentum and, you know, kind of takes his time as well. You can see he doesn't do that one big drawn out bottom turn, does he? He does a couple of little check turns, bump, pump, pump, and then hooks into it. But yeah, just total commitment here from Stu Kennedy. Nice little opening wave, a beautiful confidence builder. You can see there just replacing the weight over the front foot, letting those fins slide and then re-engaging them. So great stuff there from Stu Kennedy to the tune of a 7.0. So great surfing from the young Aussie. More sets coming through out the back as Stu Kennedy finishes replay off. Look at that beautiful lineup here at J Bay. It's gotta be one of the best shows on the on the on the earth, isn't it, Joe? Definitely. Kaiwa Belly knows that. That's why he was trying to work really hard to come back from injury. Little opportunity now. Drifting underneath for Kyle. He's got a lot of speed down the line. Hard off the bottom and controls that top turn carve. Rebounds it off the lip. Fighting hard for a score through the pain. Little layback drop the top for Kyle and he's out of there. Can start loosening up a little bit but there's definitely a little bit more intent on that wave you could tell pumping down the line it's waiting for it he has his drawers off the bottom driving into that turn holding the rail through that maneuver was beautiful for for kayo again a loop, releasing the fins on that occasion so showing some variety keeping that board moving but the thing with with surfers that are injured, Joe, every time they take off, you kind of cringe, aren't you? You're kind of waiting for something to, to go wrong, and it's it's just one of those things. And, you know, timing is so important, Nacha. Uh, saw on social media that you say you like to channel different people surfing on your waves. So how do you make that split-second decision when you're choosing your turns, Nacha? I don't know. That, I think you kind of make it beforehand. You know, you get your mind in a certain place to kind of feel the type of surfing you want to do. You know, do you want to be real, you know, just throw all the power you can into it and be fast or do you want to kind of like be cruisy and then d just fit those turns in where they make sense you know I and even throw on a claim something he never does <laughs> never just does. for fun yep and uh continue on with that momentum this is Stu kennedy already punching out the lift to kick it off nice rapid cut back to fill in the gaps well clean vertical re-entry for the australian from lennox head a lot of glide and flow off that surfboard. Now it's trying to run through the inside to finish. Clean float, still with some room. So earning that one, he's out of there. Had the seven before that, so Kennedy's back in the lead. Stu Kennedy now needing a 1.67. As we see up and riding the young Aussie. Let's have a look at this wave here from Stu. 
jams it up through the lip there. Beautiful maneuver from Stu Kennedy. Draws off around the bottom. What's he got for us? Nice little slash back. Just waiting for it. You can see, just get, keeping that foot on the pad, on the tail pad. Stu Kennedy, not one of those guys that moves up and down the board. Once he gets his feet planted in one spot, that's pretty much it. Moves up and down the pad just a little bit there as he comes around the section and finishes off nicely. So Stu Kennedy looking to get back into that first spot, put a little bit of pressure back on Kaya Belly and extend his lead over Gabriel Medina. So Gabriel Medina very, very quiet here at the moment. And the man in line with that P next to his name, Gabriel Medina. Gabriel Medina has been waiting a long time to get started. Now at the 18 minute mark, it's his first wave. Long lip line float. Really needs to get going to get another maneuver in. Throws it up vertically. Jams it off the coping again. Another big snapping re-entry with a big free fall. Late hits the float and ends up on his feet. Some surfers want to get moved in early in the heat and get started. Medina shows that he can wait patiently for a bomb to come through. That thing really stretched out in front of him quickly. Strider, how'd that look for you? Are you kidding? That backhand attack, I was pumped on that. I love seeing Medina and his pace and his patience that he just took to find that wave. Definitely the best wave of the heat that's come through. It had the perfect wall on it. He raced down the line after a big hit and then found himself with a perfect platform to just tag that thing. I mean, right up into it. Absolutely a beautiful wave here as you watch the replay off the bottom. Bingo! Then comes down for another one, straight back up into it again. Just, you know, from the water, we can see fins and tail as he drops back in right there. Reconnects back up into it for a finish. So that really beautiful work right there from Medina. And I'm always a fan of the backhand attack. He's been on fire in the warm-up session. One of the best guys in the water, forehand or backhand. I mean, his technique right here is just incredible, where he's actually thrashing into the lip, throwing the tail, falling out. That wave had a perfect pace for him on the inside, which is, you know, rare to find that wave that actually lets you go up into the lip and throw the tail out like that, come back in, reconnect, and then have it. Now this is his fourth start in his career, already a world champ. One of the most feared draws on the top 34, and for good reason. No matter what the conditions are like, that's for sure, <clears throat> this man is one to watch. A definite worthy world champion. This, to me, was the best maneuver of the wave, up and over the top. Kind of got stuck behind the section there, waiting for it, waiting for it. Now he hits the lip there, could have connected a bit better. It was kind of a more of a safety turn. Now he goes to town. That was a little bit better again. Nice little snap off the top there, and then a little bit of mistiming there. Didn't quite get the, the pizzazz off the top that I was waiting for from Gabriel Medina. <laughs> Welcome back to the Corona Open, J-Bay. Medina flying down the line and enjoying the sweet sounds of Jeffries Bay through this inside corner. Driving hard through the inside section, and he closes that one out in a solid way to improve on a 1.77. He did a 4.70 to take the lead off Kennedy. Potts is always so interesting when you see Medina try to control the start to get the, the best wave. Oftentimes it's hard to get one off him, but I enjoy when he doesn't have priority. Takes little waves and really creates some magic. Yeah, he does. Uh, you know, I think uh, obviously when things don't go your way in the beginning as, you, as you'd like to, you know, uh, you've got to hit the reset button. But Gabriel Medina, one of the best at that, you know, finding momentum finding more groove i think his timing on this wave was way better than that first 8.90 that he got it wasn't as good a wave but i think just the, his timing his maneuver choice i think everything was a little bit more on point right there when he had in san francisco when he was 17 he went right the entire time i did do a single aerial in the final watching Stu. he's already has some speed to burn let's see how he uses it here clean hook out front deeper bottom turn Nice vertical in the pocket. Kennedy fighting for the lead. Big whip off the top for the Australian. Jams it off the coping again. He could beat every section here at J-Bay. Still has a little bit of room towards the bricks. He'll kick out of there. Now Medina flying down the line into the pit. This one's running through impossibles. Can he pull off a miracle and make the exit? 
Gabriel Medina, <laughs> so deep it looked impossible, comes out standing tall. That's why it's called impossible, Joe. <laughs> right? Right there. Thank you very much. He already had his momentum from his 7-2-3 in the lead. Let's have another look here. Well, this was kind of on the way back out. Kaya Belly missed this one out the back, so Gabriel Medina picking this one up sort of halfway out. A couple of nice turns. She comes off the bottom. Nice snap right there. You can tell the timing and everything. Right here, bang, puts him in the head, but still drives through that section. Driving, driving, driving. Is he going to come out? Of course he does. Gabriel Medina. Super freak. That is why we love watching Gabriel Medina surf. He's a... Uh, well, no matter what it is, Joe, two-foot shore break. Well, Sean, he just locked in a 9.93 for that last effort. Back in first with a massive total. It's due down to second. Third is Kaiwa Belly. Sean, we talk about a lot of Medina's strengths in the water and what he does for performance. You were able to surf with him on the lay day the other day, and you are bringing up your that his impressive ability to never miss a wave. This guy is a phenomenal athlete as we watch this wave again. Yeah, he's, what's interesting is that he just seems like he's like hungry. He's never got enough waves, he's get, never got enough wins, which is, I think, uh, what a champion needs. And also he has this uncanny ability to seldom fall. You know, he's very self-aware, he's very self-possessed. He knows exactly uh, how connected he is on his board in uh, relation to the ocean. So the guy's got nerves of steel and he's got that hunter ferocity. Um, and it, it was great to see how that whole heat turned. Sean, you were pretty scared to surf against as well, mate, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago. I buried that aspect of my personality. Uh, Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> Loving exactly. the inside from Sean Thompson, 77 world champ, watching the jam and the open face from Kiowa Belly to get barreled. Down carve and then packs it. A tough section is to try to get that thing to open up on. And Kaio's down, and he popped out the other end. Stu's chance now just to get a warm-up wave for the second round. There's that grab rail, throw tail he's got on demand. It's going to leave him behind now. So a couple of solid sevens for Stu. Looks fresh, board looks good. Let's see where his momentum goes in the second round. What gets him really going with his confidence to fire back to compete. This is Stu again. Just showing off that that board is solid. I love how he floats and almost gets wow. his fins out on his bottom turns. How does he get that slide and still the drive at the same time? It, it, it baffles me. Medina playing around on this inside corner. He'll throw a, a little regular foot section. I think Medina along with Italo, two of the best at going switch. That one didn't really give him too much left, but we got to see a lot from the former world champ, an 8.9 and 993, one of the highest combined totals of the day. Stu and Kyle will be sent to round two.